this is the great legend and I am coming at you live and guess what day it is it's comic book Wednesday but I've got a more important thing to do than comic book Wednesday because my comics aren't gonna be here till tomorrow or Friday so but we are in luck today I have received a package I love packages who doesn't love a good package man I tell you that's what it's all about here on the great legend show we got a lot of friends in the comic book community and I'm blessed to have them in my life and uh, to be friends with them and one of those friends you've heard me talk about him before his name is Thomas Parks 8484 I'm gonna have it a description uh, or his URL in my description he is one of one of the first uh, folks I met here on YouTube um, kinda of found him you know just by searching different comic books I found this guy Thomas Parks I've, I've got to know him um, over the past year or so and he's just an excellent guy great friend um, he loves his comic books. He's a real big fan of Spider-Man, Superman, and he's pretty much like the only other guy I know on uh, YouTube that lo loves him some Popeye comics. I'm sure a lot of people love the Popeye, but Tommy Parks real passionate about the Popeye comics. Thomas Parks, he loves the shows. He's got some awesome movies and DVDs. He turned me on to this... Um, this show and I'm trying to remember the name uh, Tommy it's Michael J White's in it and it's uh, Bloodbone I think's the name of it. Bloodbone I watched that man it was a great movie he showcased a couple of clips on his YouTube channel and I saw it on Netflix really awesome fight movie so he he lets me know um, some of the cool action movies that I may have not watched you know so he knows his action movies um, he knows his um, sci-fi type movies big fan of Highlander I'm, I'm a Highlander guy um, really good channel so check it out so here we go we got a package right here I grayed out all the information so you can't find me <laughs> well if you really want to find me you know it probably wouldn't be too hard so we got to Rob aka the great legend right here from Thomas Parks oh yeah very nice nice packaging looks real good can't wait to see what's inside fans I have no clue what's in here Thomas just said hey uh, what's your <laughs> what's your address I got some stuff to send you so I was like awesome alright let's see if I can open this got me a little knife I know a dynamic uh, comic duo here on YouTube um, he opens his packages up with like a medieval knife big old thing even bigger than crocodile Dundee's knife Paul Hogan alright so I've got it Let's see what we have inside I love this 360 degree turn this box it feels like a supermodel in my hands coming down the aisle coming towards you Woo, the turn see that box ass bring it on back like that smile as you go or just look sassy whatever you like okay very good packaging inside oh I see something really cool oh my goodness this is a care package this is a great looking package here so on there we have a piece of cardboard to just make sure it's all flat and good bit back I love these kind of packages they're very good I've got something cool. I got a bonus in here. Awesome. Okay, we got them in this nice bag. So, I think there's some books in there. <laughs> awesome. Thomas Parks, thank you so much. Okay, look at this package. This is like this is like a Thomas Parks to Great Legend R995 care package. Check it out. Oh, wow unopened actually I think they are opened but this is cool anyway look Smackdown collector cards oh looky here oh my god I don't even have any of these you know my friend Duttrank's gonna be jealous I've got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to these 
I don't know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, but my son will probably learn one of these days. I've got this Unicycler, and I've got just so many of these. I don't know if any of you are Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there. Oh, and there's some really cool cards there. Let me just kind of go through these. Unicycler. Um, Balloon Lizard. I'm reading off the screen here. Um, actually, Aswan Apparition. What Mole. The Earth Hexilled Fusion. The fans, I have no clue what these are. Sonic Bird. Oh, I mean, I, I know Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't know, like... Oh, I love this card. I'm gonna I'm gonna cherish this one. Gambler of Legend. That guy's looking pretty cool. He's like a cowboy guy. Alchemy Cycle. This is cool. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So that's that. Now also in that little package of cards with some SmackDown cards. And this looks like vintage SmackDown. This looks like um Test doing a backbreaker on I don't know who that guy is. Look like Road Dog or something. These are from 1999. These are vintage. This looks like who's that guy? Too cool. Yeah, too cool. Brian Christopher, aka Jerry Lawler's kid. Hardcore Holly. I remember him. These are also kind of glossy. Oh, this is Draws. Yeah, these are so vintage. Draws actually is in a wheelchair now. I think. Shane McMahon. So these are cool cards. Alright. So those are some SmackDown cards with a little Yu-Gi-Oh. These are unopened. This one's unopened sealed Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm going to leave this sealed because I think these are from 95. I'm pretty sure they're. I'm going to leave that one sealed. Now here's a little bit. And Tommy Thomas does a lot of like he he keeps them looking good here. He only like undid the top so he could still put more cards in here. Come on, here we go. Ooh, here is some open Power Ranger cards. The new season that has old what's her face on it. What was her name? Rita Repulsa, dude. Thomas, you are taking me back in time right now because I used to watch this. I guess I was. Uh, a senior kind of going into college when all this stuff started coming on and I watched this with my younger brother actually you know what I ought to give these to him he just get a kick out of it look at this guy <laughs> who is this his name is Ernie look at Ernie right there I wonder if he's got a buddy named Bert oh my god look oh my god I remember these two guys these were the bullies of the school their name was a uh, Balkan skull they were like bullies um, in, what was that place called? Angel Grove. <laughs> oh, my God, I remember some of this. There's Zack. I remember Zack, the black, um, the black uh, Power Ranger. This was this guy here named Zordon. He was like kind of like the guy that talked. Oh, and this is a good-looking card because I really remember this guy. Goldar. Remember, he was like Rita's uh, one-hand man henchman. Ooh, this is a nice card. This card is like foil embossed called Beach Bum. I think that was the villain, um, Rita's villain that she put on the beach. Here's a fun shot of our um, teenagers playing something in their little rec center called Broom Ball. And this is their little workout room. Has Jason, Tommy, and Zach. See, I actually remembered... Um, these oh and this was that one guy that like took uh, Rita's position later on down the line Lord Zed I don't know how good these are kinda coming in it's kinda dark in here right now so yeah Tommy thanks so much man these are very cool and like I said I may <laughs> I may send these off to my brother or at least when my brother comes down or comes up here to Dallas area I'll um I'll show him these and he'll get a kick out of these. Thanks so much for these cards. This is kind of like a great added bonus. So let's keep looking in the bag here. We have a little fold over deal here. Let me see if I can take it out. Awesome. I've got some DVD movies. I love Tommy Park's DVD movies and I've never seen Romeo Must Die. I know this is Jet Li. Jet Li right there. Romeo Must Die. I 
I got one to play in the computer. I got a Toy Story 2. Ooh, and Anacondas 2. Awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. That's great, dude. Tommy, thanks so much, man. And if you want some of these back, let me know. Like, I'll watch them and I'll send them back to you. But if you want me to keep them, that's cool too. Good looking DVDs there. Okay. Now we have the bread and butter. A lot of the comic book fans, like Tommy and me, we like cards. I don't have a lot of cards much anymore, but we like DVDs. And look at there. Excellent, excellent shipping. Okay. Let's look at these. Okay. Okay. Right here. Not in there, right here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, man! All right. All right. Look at these. These are all in, like, near mint condition, and they're pretty cool. And, Tommy, I thank you so much, man. I didn't have any of these. And I'll show you the, the one um, that I really like, too. Look at this. It's a beautiful bag by the way. I don't know if this is some kind of Mylar or what kind of bag this is but I'm loving this bag. This is the um, X-Men The Civil War issue number three. I've got some of these in trade paperbacks but I, I, don't, I don't have any of the single comics. Very cool. Very cool. That's awesome. It's uh, X-Men A Marvel Comics Event Civil War. Mint condition. Yeah, 9.4, I'd say. This one is really cool. Very good condition. I would say near mint. 9 point, uh, well, maybe 9 point. This one probably 9.0, 9.2. But still in that near mint class. Near mint minus, perhaps. This one probably 9.4. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I've actually got some of these on order, but officially, in my hands, right here, right now, only on the Great Legend Show, this is my first Walking Dead comic, Robert Kirkman, Image Comics, right here, issue 102, Compliments of Thomas Parks, 8484. Just really beautiful. This is so damn cool, Tommy. Thanks, man. And... This one is cool. I'd seen this one, but I never did get it. I just thought it was pretty damn cool. Definitely 9.4 near mint. Back, backboard. And I love Tommy. He, he put the 2012 on there because it, you know, it's good to know what year these came out in. Look. Spawn, issue 2, 23. The cover swipe from Walking Dead number 1. Spawn of the Dead. You know when Rick is walking in that one cover? Oh man, this is beautiful. Todd McFarlane doing his Spawn thing. Is there any other better comic book writer and illustrator than Todd McFarlane doing Spawn? Um, Tommy also um, is a big fan of the Spawn movie with Michael J. White and I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure I asked Tommy this a while back and I think he said he has watched it but um, if you've never seen um, and I know it sucks I've never seen the Spawn movie my dad loves the Spawn movie actually I may show this to my dad he'll think it's cool cooler as all get out but uh, I need to watch the Spawn movie I'm gonna do that soon but Michael J. White really great actor great martial artist um, it's been in a lot of movies, but one of my favorite funny movies that he was most recently in was um, Black Dynamite. So definitely watch some Black Dynamite, if anything. Very awesome, though. So I got some comics. Yeah. Cards. Some movies to watch. All thanks to one of the coolest guys in the comic book community. And um, Thomas Parks. 
thank you so much man for sending me this little care package and uh, I'm gonna start getting some things together for you to send off for you too okay so man look in the ma oh man you know what Tommy I scratched out your address on that box so you know how we roll with it um, I'll get that. I'll get your address from you, and I'm gonna send you a little care package. Tommy, a great legend, to Thomas Parks 8044 care package. Hey, sorry this video's gone long, but it was really just sweet. That's what the comic book community's all about. It's all about giving to each other, you know, and you know, making trades. Making trades are good. Selling your comics to the people in the comic book community first, because you know you're gonna be giving your comic books a good home. Hey, this is the great legend. Thanks again, Thomas Parks, 8484. Your name is in the description. A lot of love for you, man. This is the great legend saying peace out and God bless.